looking at how to make a life worth living in return with having when I sit in the middle of the afternoon just having had a marvelous can of ravioli type lunch I don't have to explain to you what poverty is like but what I can tell you is that there's a million Christians in America that walk by every day like the people did on the road to Samaria and then it was a good Samaritan that came along and decided to patch somebody up and literally give them some food put them up in a hotel for a short period of time and openly made sure there was enough money to pay the bill what happened to those Christians? what happened to those parable stories that we understood from those Bible study days and those networks of our pastor's ways but in life a pagan is never allowed to be pagan you see there seems to be some parent parentage type of people in a community what I mean by that is that they think that they have the rights to someone else's body they think they have the right to someone else's information and they take privileges over someone's life that they really don't have any rights to they're taking privilege by saying I'm gonna cut your face while you're sleeping I'm gonna shave your body while you're not here and even if you find out you'll just be weeping and here's the reality at no time did you have the right to commandeer anyone's life you see you're taking authorities over people that you have no authority over and you're playing things on people to torture them you're doing things to people to hurt them and you're literally lying to a lot of people about a person's life so what you can have more power in your mother's life or in your father's life or in some important person's life in that person's life you see the liars of a land will literally walk into someone's home without their lawful consent the liars of the land will get through their property bags look underneath their mattresses look behind the bookshelves look in their drawers and take things that don't belong to them the liars of the land will walk into someone's home to look things over but then they'll start deciding what they want to have and here's the problem with that that when you move things around in someone's home without their consent you really are just moving yourself into a danger zone the danger zone that you're putting yourself in is thinking that no one will notice or that who cares if they notice because it's not provable the problem with that is that God sees all so what you have to continue to ask yourself is what's the afterlife going to be for me even though I'm young even though I'm youthful even though I've got all these things happening for me what could happen to me if someone saw me doing this if someone was actually there and what the living proof is that I can put in as many of my trail cameras into my storage unit but I go back to find them and none of them are there all of them have been registered by their serial numbers but what happened did they go out to those companies and re-register them under their names you see I'd like to know what happened to my three hundred dollars worth of trail cameras that I purchased by earning my own living you see when someone is gifted something it's one thing when someone earns something it's something else but the truth is we have liars of America who think they have rights to people's lives to their faces to their bodies and to their paperwork and even to their possessions when they really don't have that you see the reason that the Constitution was made the reason that the Bill of Rights was written was to provide us the safety of our world and when we don't have safety in our world we don't have safety for you and for me